Hi guys, uh, welcome to our little mini series here on how to get the most out of your smart bus and how to set up your plane as accurately as possible. Today we're going to be talking about uh, elevator setup and how we can match elevators using three point match and also the advanced 15 point match. We'll also show you an obvious feature which is servo reversal. So today we've got the smart bus extreme mm -hmm. set up in the plane. We've got the, uh, the 3400 excess power batteries, and I'll hand over to uh, Brendan, and he can take you through the basics of how to get the max out of your uh, performance iMac or 3D model. Yep, so we'll go into the servo function to start with. So we press on the total milliamps button, the servo button, and we're going to be showing you how to match your elevators today, which are plugged into elevator 1B. So, as you can see, I'll move the elevators. These are being mechanically matched as close as possible and notice that they're first reversed. So we'll have to fix that to start with. Mm -hmm. Come back to the smart bus. And the easy, it's super easy. This button here that says normal, if we touch that, and we'll go pan back to the elevator. We now have? They go in the same way. Hmm. But you'll notice that even though we mechanically match them as close as possible, they're not sub trimmed perfectly. So we're going to go through and do a quick sub trim on our three point and then to get a really fine sub trim throughout the entire range we'll go to our 15 point. A couple of uh, things you might need or you might want to consider is some carbon rods. These carbon rods are about half a meter in length and it just gives you a better uh, indicator on your elevators okay, so. to, show how, um, to show how close they are to be matched. So you can see they're, they're pretty, the, the elevators are way out at the moment. And it's a pretty simple process, guys. All you do is you get your half meter. They're about four or five mil. We, we've got them on the website if you want them. And you just tape them um, accurately as you can to form a 90 degree triangle uh, towards the center of your rudder, as you can see. Pretty straightforward to do. We use capped on tape because it, it has a really uh, good adhesive um, quality, but also it releases and doesn't tear or do any, any silly uh, sort of stuff to it. Okay. So we're going to start with a three-point sub-trim. We'll start with the uh, centre point, and all we need to do is, leaving the transmitter stick in the middle of your radio, you just press the decrement button or the increment button. Okay, so let's start matching that one. Looking pretty good. Okay. Then what we'll do is moving the transmitter stick in one direction, full deflection. We'll do the same thing, press the increment and decrement button. Looking pretty good. Okay. And same with the down. Down's a bit hard to pull in, but <laughs> we'll, we'll give it a whirl. Here we go. I think you're getting close. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So one of the things you'll notice, guys, um, is if you sweep that through the range there, Brendan, as we go up, even though we've done the, the matching, you've still got points in the centre where they're not, not good. Yep. And that's why we've uh, developed the 15-point matching. Yep. So, so let's just save that. Yep. So that's what the sub trim ended up looking like at the centre and end points. And I'll just hit save. So that's now committed that particular trim setting to the smart bus memory. Yep. 